All right, so Andrew is here, and we got Travis. Now, what Andrew's doing is he's mounting a globe up on the mule. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be running boundaries on most, if not all, of our fields. And what are the advantages of this, Andrew, to have all of our boundaries set in the monitor already? The biggest advantage of having the boundaries, and I'll specify RTK boundaries, because we don't want anything that's going to move. But once we have our boundaries for our field set up in the system, we can have better track of how many acres are in each field. Uh, it's going to enable us when we run our auto steer on the tractors to steer against those boundaries, not always have to make separate lines Cut every time. There. When you say doing the auto steer against those boundaries, does that mean we can start the planter at the end of the field, set the planter at the edge of that boundary, and the auto steer will pick up that boundary line and automatically take us across the field? Yes. Really? We can make lines based off that boundary that you drive today. Really? Yes. The other big benefit of doing this is if you're going to go through and plant and you want to plant your headlands last, or say we want to strip till and we want to strip till the headlands last okay. so we're not causing extra compaction where we've already been, uh, we can set the system up to automatically shut the seed off when you get, say, 60 feet from your boundary. Um, you can go plant all your long rows down to your short rows in the field. Once you're done with that, you can plant two passes around your boundary and your, your clutches will have already shut the seed off where they need to. The advantage, of, the advantage of that is to reduce the compaction on your outside rows to plant them last, yes. your headlands. Yes. So you're basically you're not driving over already planted seed. Yes. And that's a huge yield loss that we see when we get the yield maps. Um, I had a customer where our field uh, was already planted. He sprayed basically the day or two days after he had planted that field took his sprayer and drove across the rows. You know, corn wasn't up or anything, just been planted two days before. He drove that sprayer diagonally across the field, and when I flew the drone up later in the year, I could see exactly where those tracks were. Yeah. I, I believe that. <laughs> so, so yeah, so if, if we can get everything done and not have to drive over, this, over those rows when we're turning around or anything, it's a huge yield advantage for us. Okay. So. Uh, Travis is going to be running the boundaries. Uh, we already got the monitor set up on the mule with the globe and it's got its own battery source and it's a pretty simplistic setup. So Travis is record, going to be doing that. For the record, we could mount this on the four-wheeler and cut out the battery and just tie it right into the four-wheeler battery. Um, for the ease of operation, we decided to go with the mule. Also, um, Originally, we were planning on having two people. A person was going to run it and somebody was going to run the monitor. But in light of the fact that we're doing two things at once today, I'm going to be running it alone. But it's going to be a multiple day job, so, well, somebody's going to be riding with me at some point. <laughs> so, all right, well, I'll hand the camera off to Travis once we get this finished, set it up, set up, and then he's going to head out and start running boundaries today. Here we go. Uh, one thing that we're doing differently than last time I ran the RTK network out here is we actually put a Digimodem in this system. Uh, we used the iPad last time with a Bluetooth adapter that communicated uh, Bluetooth to the receiver from the iPad. Uh, if I'm setting something up in an area that has limited cell phone signal, I'll put one of these modems in. And these have about eight times the cellular capability of a cell phone or an iPad. Uh, we're looking at about um, a four gigawatt signal string versus our cell phones are usually a quarter uh, gigawatt. So one thing I learned at your meeting we went to up the, uh, the yep. place up there was uh, how you said how all those really need is enough strength to send out a text message. I thought this whole RTK system would require a lot more power than just a, enough to send a text. Right. Oh, that's I've, kind of impressive. I've been driving through the area with the system hooked up in the pickup just to see how our signal strength was. And there's a lot of places that I can't make, I can't even send a text out with my cell phone. And I have excellent RTK service. Uh, and a b big benefit of that is the newer receivers. If I have a customer that's running a little bit older receiver that doesn't have the GLONASS or the extra satellite capability, uh, they're more likely to lose GPS signal than if you're running one of these new uh, like a, if you're running Green Star, we can hook it right up to the GS3 uh, system, the 3000 or the new 6000 receiver. Uh, we've got a really nice uh, system to work with that. So 
And that 6,000 uh, receiver is excellent as far as picking up signal uh, from the satellites. Same thing with the Egg Leader uh, 6500 receiver. Uh, it's very rare that you'll lose GPS signal um, with this receiver. So the technology's increased even within the past three years uh, pretty significantly. And I believe you told us last year when we ran that on the combine that out of all the acres we had it on that we only lost signal what for two seconds at the most yeah i think there was two times that i saw a little bleep where you lost signal and you probably didn't even see it on your monitor so it did not affect the data or anything uh, with the egg leader auto steer system they have uh, the ability it's called stable lock and if you lose rtk it won't kick you off of your line it'll continue steering the tractor for a limited amount of time until you get that rtk fix back on the screen so a lot of times you won't even know other than there'll be a little yellow um, icon in the top right where that GPS signal is on your monitor. Mm -hmm. And you'll see that stable lock icon showing you that you've briefly lost RTK. But as far as operating the tractor goes, you probably won't even notice. That's fine, ATV. Next, make, just type anything in there if you wanna put the Kawasaki mule. That's fine. Skip that. We don't. We're not pulling anything there. Come on. Green check. Green check.